Welcome to another episode of the VM Blog Expert Interview Series. And today we welcome back Sabaya Sundaram, the VP of Products at Haiku. Welcome. Hi, David. Very nice to meet you again, and uh, good talking with you as always. You as well. Uh, well, before we start, I guess most importantly, you know, how are you doing and everyone else at Haiku with everything going on with the pandemic? So far, it's been excellent. Uh, David, I know in spite of all this COVID, which is a challenging, I think uh, I'll tell you, uh, we have been lucky that our customers have loved the solution which we actually have delivered. And the pandemic in some sense has um, made a lot of people think of cloud much more now than before, even before. As I'm sure you heard there are lots of stats around how it has accelerated almost like two years and just two months and so on, people talk about. That's the kind of thing it is actually, it's been a, uh, from a business perspective, I'll tell you it's been excellent. I wish the COVID situation was very different, but uh, overall, I think you'd be very happy. And I think uh, I'm doing great. And I think the company overall has been doing fantastic. That's good to know. Thank you. Well, you know, uh, I, I see you're introducing new features and support for Haiku data protection as a service for Google Cloud Platform. How's the uh, solution been going? And what's been the reception by both customers and the uh, Google Cloud partners? Totally. Um, as you well know, uh, Dave, as you, when we started with, we originally had uh, just the on-prem solution. We focused on Nutanix and VMware and physical. That's what we did on-prem. And we introduced in 2018, we introduced our Google solution. And it's been excellent growth, uh, which we, what we have seen is tremendous amount of growth. I think uh, we have seen over 600% just this year, I'll tell you, we have seen over 600% growth in our Google business alone. So that is that demonstrate the interest people have actually had. And I think I'll tell you the big thing people have realized is that when you go to a cloud, you need a cloud native solution. I think that's been tremendous. And I think that's, I think that's one of the reasons when people look at what we have done, it's a cloud native solution, simplicity, and it feels like using a service of the platform, right? Rather than trying to be using standalones too. Those are things that really, really helped us. And I think it made our solution tremendous and uh, tremendously successful. And what's new with your support for SAP HANA and Google Cloud? You know, what do customers and partners get now that they didn't have before? Excellent question. So if you look at SAP HANA itself, as all of us know, SAP HANA is, SAP in general is a business critical application and all customers are really, really looking forward to making sure it's highly available, it is resilient, and it's by 24 by seven. That's part of every customer business. The thing is that SAP introduces SAP HANA many years ago and right now has put an ultimatum to customers that in the next few years, they have to migrate to SAP HANA or this they will not support. That is something they have made it mandatory. And that is essentially um, every infrastructure provider, including cloud service providers like Google and Azure and Amazon, everybody is focusing on saying, how do you get customers to run their SAP HANA on their infrastructure? That is something they have been doing. Then we started, I mean, as you know, we have had, the, uh, we talked about our Google solution. We have, it's been excellent. And one of the things is that what we are starting to see is lots of customers start adopting the Google, SAP HANA on Google Cloud. The reason is Google has some of the best infrastructure for SAP uh, in the cloud, cloud world. And we started hearing from a lot of our partners saying, hey, can you actually help us uh, get on the SAP solution? Can you make sure you have a best solution for that? So we actually started working with uh, Google. And um, one of the big things in the SAP HANA world is that everybody wants to make sure the solution is actually certified and blessed by SAP. So the thing what we did was we wanted to make sure the solution is SAP backend. That's their goal. SAP certification is certif certified on SAP backend. So we worked with Google. We made sure we one of our philosophy always has been to make everything we do is 100% complementary to what the platform provider does. Google was working on SAP integration. We were working on it. We brought them together. And in this solution right now, we will be able to leverage the Google's work and our work and bring in the entire backup lifecycle management for the SAP infrastructure. It's just not about the backup. It's the backup and as well as the DR, even within cloud, because customers need the DR, it's the backup, the recovery, the DR. That whole package is something we have been able to deliver as part of this in a fully SAP certified 
solution and 100% complementary to what's in Google. So that's that's the thing we are uh, announcing as part of this release, and I'm excited about it because customers love it. And you know, speaking of customers, where, where's the interest uh, for these new enhancements coming from? And are there particular industries or regions where you're seeing an uptick? That's an uh, excellent question. So if you look at it overall, um, we have had excellent interest worldwide. I mean, as uh, we talked about probably in the past, we have sold in over 70 plus countries as an organization, and uh, we have sold over 1,500 plus customers. Specifically for Google, I'll tell you one of the things what's actually happened is that when we announced our cloud service provider program about uh, back in end of June when we announced it, Lots of partners got excited even further, and we have been signing up a tremendous amount of partners. And I think as part of this announcement, we are also actually, our partners wanted to actually share that excitement with us, that's number one. The second thing is that it's amazing that we have seen tremendous amount of partners, not just in North America, we have in lots of in Europe. And the amazing thing is that we see a lot of people, even in African subcontinent, who are actually big time Google uh, service providers, and they've become excellent partners for us. So it is worldwide. And it's, uh, it's amazing that every partner allows it and they want to make this part of a standard offering for every one of their customers. That's really exciting. That is exciting. And I know, I know none of this is, uh, <laughs> is easy. Uh, you know, how supportive has Google been with, with the integration efforts that you, uh, that you all have been doing? You know, uh, partners, as you clearly point out, you know, when you're del- delivering a solution for a platform, you've got to have, excellent tight and that too our philosophy has been to have tight integration when you have tight integration you better have the good partner support one thing i got to tell you google has been an excellent partner they have been helping us at the technology level working at the go-to-market level across the board they have been very very complimentary to what we have been doing and they're very supportive of the whole thing because we were the first service pro first uh backup vendor to actually have a pure native software as a service or backup as a service for google cloud that made it um, that we were the first one to believe in Google and actually build it native for them. So they really respect that. And I think the Google sellers, when they look at the simplicity and the tight integration we have along with Google platform, it's been tremendous. And I think Google really respects that. And I think we have been at an excellent partnership with that. And uh, I'm also happy to say, for example, some of the Google actually has a set of people who work on different solutions. And one of the teams actually focused on SAP as a solution. And the thing what they have done is that we work with them and jointly de- developed a solutions paper, which tells the customers the best practice for entire deploying an SAP HANA on Google, how to manage it, how to protect it, how to maintain its life cycle. That's amazing. And I think, I think that tells customers, gives a lot more confidence on it. It's just not about haiku telling. It's about a joint solution coming together and making it simple for customers. You know, I'm looking forward to your company sharing its predictions for what's to come in 2021. But is there anything you, you know, want to share now, can share now, especially related to your support for Google Cloud customers? One of the things which I'll tell you a couple of things which I see, the customer, uh, customer adoption of cloud, it's definitely grown exponentially. That's number one. And it'll continue to grow, we expect. It is just not about the COVID. I think once as part of the COVID, people have tested it, tried it. Now that they have tried it, they clearly know why people talk about going to public cloud and the agility it brings in and the simplicity it can deliver. That's the first thing. The second thing which I see is um, in the world of Google Cloud, especially con- customers love containers and Kubernetes and so on. So that's Kubernetes essentially is a, it's a big thing. And that's growing tremendously. And I think that adoption will tremendously increase uh, in the customer world because a majority of the customers don't not just want to lift and shift, they want to modernize their application. And I think that's part of the DNA which people are doing and even partners are helping the customers go through this journey. And I think next year, I definitely expect a tremendous amount of uh, adoption in Kubernetes. Well, I want to thank you again, you know, for joining VM Blog today. It's, it's great to see all the continued innovation and the support that you guys have gotten and are you know sharing now with your customers on the Google Cloud platform. And if you would, please definitely you know keep us posted. I know it's been about six months since the last time we talked, but you know keep us posted on how things are progressing and uh, and where things are. 
Absolutely, Will Dave. And as always, pleasure talking with you. And uh, thanks to all the VeeamBlog uh, readers and uh, listeners. We uh, look forward to working with you again. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you.